Every human action has an impact on the environment that implies its degradation. To continue with our lifestyle, we need a high quantity of materials which are rapidly extracted from nature. In particular, construction activities generate very significant impacts on the environment. This is due to the high demand for material resources, energy and water that are required both in the construction processes and in the extraction of raw materials for the manufacture of products or in the use of the building. It is important to know the impacts and look for ways to reduce them in order to achieve a sustainable model in a sector with so much demand for raw materials and energy such as construction. The Environmental Product Declaration Program DAPCONS, quantifies the impacts generated by construction products considering their entire life cycle, from the extraction of raw materials to the end of life, passing through the manufacture, distribution and use of the product. These environmental declarations take into account eight environmental impact categories such as the formation of photochemical ozone, the acidification of the environment, eutrophication or the depletion of abiotic resources. One of the most obvious impacts is the depletion of abiotic resources, that is, the reduction of the availability of natural resources not coming from living beings. These resources can be renewable, such as water, wind and solar energy, or they can be non-renewable, such as minerals, rocks and metals. Within this, we find marble, granite, slate, basalt or calcareous rock. In addition, we can also find steel, aluminium, copper and titanium, which are metals. Currently, the rate of regeneration of raw materials, which is the time it takes a resource to be available again for use, is very low compared to the level of exploitation on a human time scale. In the case of the construction of infrastructures and buildings, the resources that are used have a very low regeneration time, being considered one of the most important impacts generated by the human being due to its high consumption of materials and energy. Specifically, the construction sector consumes 40% of the materials used in the European Union and 20% of the total energy in Spain. It must be taken into account that the exploitation of abiotic resources can have a negative impact on biotic resources, which are those that come from living beings. Some examples of negative impacts are the degradation of terrestrial and marine ecosystems or the loss of biodiversity. Thanks to DAPCONS, the stakeholders involved in the construction and rehabilitation of buildings as the prescribers of materials may have the necessary information to choose the materials and products based on the environmental criteria. With these Type 3 eco-labels, companies can demonstrate their involvement and respect for the environment as they give information to technicians when choosing more respectful products and adopt sustainable measures within the sector. On one hand, administrations are increasingly pursuing the reduction of impacts with the development of regulations and, on the other hand, society is more involved in consuming goods and services with less impacts. Therefore, the Environmental Product Declaration Program is a very useful tool to promote the transformation of the construction sector towards a future model sustainable and respectful with the environment and the people's health.